Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome to the first part of my playthrough of Max Payne. I'm really excited to play this game for you guys. This has been a heavily requested playthrough my channel. A lot of people have asked for this playthrough. Now, for if you're new to my channel, I dress up as the characters that I, I play as. So whenever I do a playthrough, do my best to dress up as the character. So I've been waiting on this jacket for some time. I hope you guys like the Max Payne jacket. Tried my best on like, you know, Max Payne's red shirt here. Kind of used the Tony Montana shirt for this, which I thought was pretty good, and you know, white shirt underneath here for that. But um, we're gonna be playing through this game, and also I played Max Payne 3. I've beaten Max Payne 3 several times, but I actually have never played Max Payne 1 and 2. This is gonna be my first attempt playing through this. I did start it a little bit on the PS4, because I downloaded the PS4 version a few days ago, and on the PS4 version, the part that I got up to is this that mafia prostitution house, so I just basically got right past the subway, so I didn't actually get that far in the game. But um, uh, this is gonna be basically, you know, my first attempt at playing this game, and I don't know how the game ends, I don't know, you know, what happens, you know, past that prostitution house part. So hope that you guys enjoy this game. Um, we've been playing a lot of crime games on this channel, uh, and so I figured, you know, why don't we play a game where he plays a good guy for once, not, not a gangster, he plays a cop. Uh, and also, Max Payne takes place in, um, you know, my hometown of New York. And so I'm really excited to play, uh, play it. Also, it takes place during winter, um, which you don't see winters in New York in a lot of games here, too. There is one thing that I noticed, though, uh, because Max Payne, uh, when I went in the options, I noticed that the Twin Towers are actually here, and Max Payne actually came out um, uh, June or July of 2001, so it only came out a few a few months before the attack. So that's how old this game is. But we're gonna. See, I'm really curious to see whether the Twin Towers will make an appearance also in any of the cutscenes in the game. But um, anyways, I'll be we'll be playing through this game, and I hope that you guys do enjoy it. So let's start up here. I'm playing also a mouse and keyboard. I tried playing with a controller earlier, but it just wasn't as smooth as mouse and keyboard. So we're playing with mouse and keyboard. So anyways, let's do a new game here. Fugitive. And if you guys enjoy this series, do drop a like. It does help me make more content like this. Standby 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 foot dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Oh, there, that actually looks like the. Shots the fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. They got the New York police cars right. Um, that is what they actually looked like in the early 2000s. You got that right. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. Wonder how that got to make that any point. kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. So a lot of the cutscenes are actually comic book style, and I actually think that's really cool. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. So from what the I've sun seen... sun went down with uh... practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. So from what I've seen, the Max Payne, um, uh, Max Payne 1 is a very Michelle, dark game. Honey, Even anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row, center. 
It could even be more dark than um, Max Payne 3. Also, for people wondering how I got this game to run, the PC version on Windows can be a nightmare to run. You have to download the sound patch um, uh, because the, the sound glitches out, and there's also a glitch with the cutscenes. To fix the glitch with the cutscenes, you have to turn off anti um, a aliasing. What the hell? What's this here? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Yeah, that's really creepy. That's probably, I think, the first video game that I've seen where you, a baby is murdered. The flesh of fallen angels. Oh! No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. This is what basically begins that Max's three years grief ago. for the next game. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. That's the Drug Enforcement Administration. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. They got the subways, right? I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already That's shut an behind Italian me. Handgun, the Beretta, and I was by the in way. for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. I'll be also commenting on a lot of things, you know, giving my opinion on stuff that we see throughout the game. Uh, the station was drenched in gloom. This Alex is accurate. This is what a lot of New York subway I'd stations have to look, look for like. Him. Um, what I was gonna say earlier, um, uh, when, when Max was going through his house and he found his wife and daughter dead, is that those guys were a bunch of drug addicts and they were on that drug that's in, uh, you know, that, that fictional drug, Valkyr, that's not a real drug as far as I know, um, uh, but, uh, anyways, uh, what a lot of people actually don't realize is that drug addicts are actually one of the, burglaries are oftentimes committed by drug addicts, so, 
out of all the burglaries that happen, drug addicts make up a huge percentage of burglaries. Now, why are drug addicts so commonly burglars? Because they're addicted to drugs and they're desperate for their fix. They want to smoke dope. And so they're, they're, they're going to do anything to get money for it. So they are, they're going to break into houses, they're going to rob people, and so a lot of burglaries happen because of drug addicts. And what's scary about it is that a lot of times these drug addicts actually break into houses, they're oftentimes on drugs, and they're very unstable people, and then you have tragic situations just like what happened in Max Payne's house. Yeah, so here already it's a bad sign. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Okay, let's see here. Transit cop has been murdered. The pills would ease the pain. Oh, look at that. You can flush. Huh. Oh, and you can turn on the sink too. Oh, wow. You can turn on the showers. I know that this is, you know, some people are like, why are you making such a big deal out of this? But it's that in, in a lot of video games, you don't have small details like this where you can interact with small things like that. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Simple. Come down every mother loving bastard that gets off the train. Sweet. Didn't the train go already? No idea. Let's just wait and see. What the hell? Ah! Oh! We do have bullet time in this game, too. Max can just slow down time. Oh, Desert Eagle. Nice. Okay. Here's a Desert Eagle. Very accurate for what New York's the the symbols of the subways. Very accurate. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Hey, it's me you talking to. Damn. Um, one other thing I'll say. I'm very impressed with how well they did the New York accents. Um, those are New York accents, by the way, uh, that you hear those guys talking. Um, uh, the thing about this is that a lot of video games with the New York accent, people associate the New York accent oftentimes with gangsters. When you hear the New York accent, people think that it's gangsters um, oftentimes, but that's because the gangsters are from New York. So, of course, they're gonna have New York accents. But, um, you know, I grew up with a lot of people that actually talked like that. Um, you know, I, I can do, actually, the New York accents. I can do them pretty well. You know, you have the, uh, you know, the softer the accent. Hey, how you doing? You know, that one. Um, you do have, like, a little bit of the more deeper accent, which you actually heard from some of these guys. It's like, hey, what are we doing today? Like, you know, those. There are people that talk like that. They are common. Um, and it's... Hey, we're getting around. You hear me? What is this, a joke? Hey! Anybody. That's another New York accent that you also hear. That's that's the New York smoker accent. A lot of people actually refer to it as it's somebody who smokes and uh, and has New York accent. Okay, let's get down here. And shotgun, okay. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. Eh? No. Eh? Look at it. Dang! Whoa. I desperately need some painkillers right now. It's very easy to die in this game, even on easier difficulties. 
There we go. That's some painkillers. We need that right now. While looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Hitting Roscoe Bank ain't exactly keeping low profile. The riskiest high seven, huh? But hell, the payoff makes it worth it. was locked. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. The thing about the Desert Eagle is the Desert Eagle is not really a practical handgun because just the sheer power of it and the amount of recoil that it actually has. But it is a very fun handgun, you know, to shoot, um, you know, target um, at targets. But the Desert Eagle is actually not an American handgun, despite what people think. There's obviously there's American versions of it, sure, but it was actually originally an Israeli handgun. But you oftentimes see gangsters actually use a Desert Eagle in a lot of games and, you know, movies, but, you know, it's not a practical handgun because it's how powerful it is. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Okay, let's get up here. Free this way. Hey, get out. Uh. Oh, those aren't painkillers. I thought they were for a moment. Got them all, okay. And also, this game is being actually remastered. Um, and when the remastered version comes out, we'll definitely play that too. Now, one other thing I was going to say about the New York accent is that um, a lot of people, for some reason, I don't know why, I guess it's because of all the movies and the games, people think that only Italian New Yorkers talk like that. Like, hey, how you doing? Or the, um, oh, or the, what we're doing today? Like, you know, those accents. But uh, the thing about it is that those, um, uh, those accents... Everyone talks like that, not just Italian New Yorkers. People think that it's only Italian New Yorkers. Um, you know, I knew um, I knew a kid, well, he's an adult right now, he's my age, when we were growing up, that his parents were actually from Russia, and he talked just like that. So it's not just Italian New Yorkers that, um, uh, that talk like that. The train like that. lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. being subtle. Okay, and the dead bodies are still here. Doesn't seem like it disappeared quickly. Uh... 
wonder where this goes here. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station. Closed oh yeah, off now since this the I remember. 40s. It was the something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Yeah, so this is the um, this is the uh, the 1940s, 50s, you know, train station. I got up to the part right past the mafia prostitution house before I stopped. Uh, figure it'd be probably better to play the play for the first time. And um, this is also accurate. There are actually really old New York like subway stations. This isn't. This is actually not just a um, uh, a myth. They actually do exist. There are very old subway stations that are basically like museums in a way to preserve from like you know the 40s, 30s. Um, I don't know exactly where they are in New York, though. My my, my mom would know. She rides a subway a lot. Hey. They also do appear in Liberty City stories when. Tony does destroy um uh, Fort Staunton a bit. joke about it if I was you. Yeah. The station's not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. That's all we need. Too much bullet time there. Okay, that's a dead end. And um, what I was saying earlier about, you know, the twin towers that they appeared in this game, I'm very surprised they didn't edit them out um, in later versions when, you know, because I'm playing the PC version on Steam uh, because a lot of video games have done that. Where a 9/11 has actually changed their games and uh, was that? oh, rats! Yeah, New York subways. This is very, they're they are actually very common. Um, uh, you will actually see them a lot of times. You ride the subway enough, you will see them. But 9/11 uh, actually changed a lot of video games, and 9/11 is the worst event in New York's history, other than the New York riots. The New York riots during the Civil War and the 9/11 were the two worst times in in New York's entire history. And it was just such a it's such a horrible event that when it actually happened, um, uh, there was just so many people that they knew somebody who died there, um, or they had a family member who died there, or they knew somebody who was affected by it. It was just such such a horrible time. And then there was, you know, the the smog that was from it. So many streets had been blocked off with rubble, just clearing out for weeks. I remember when I was a kid when it happened and school got canceled. It was just horrible. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. No, you were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I can do those accents. Yo! Yeah, pump action shotgun is pretty good here. Okay, fellas, the police are on their way. New York's finest are gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Yeah, so the second I saw the bank fall, I was like, yeah, I know what they're doing. Okay, that was close there. 
Yeah, so I'm trying my best at this, guys. I'm still new to this game, but I'll get the hang of it, don't worry. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Yeah, so that, ex that guy was not a cop. He was posing as a cop. Because he didn't recognize Max on the, um, uh, on the phone. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. The bank robber's score lay on the table. What were they looking for? The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Whoa, whoa. I didn't realize they could throw grenades at you in this game. No, actually, no, I, they can, right? Damn. Did I get them all? Okay. Am I supposed to go again here? Oh. The subway symbol card, yep. Hold it! Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank Vault through the old station. Who the hell are you? This is white. This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? This guy's the slowest hitman ever. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, it's Alex. Alex. There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. So that was a. Uh... out here oh well, just tried to cancel the bullet time instead of dived so that was um that was max Payne's best friend alex and uh, max mourns him uh, throughout the games also uh hey sir so that's the company that they were trying to steal the bonds for Yeah, shut up! Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, got them all here. Oh, even more. Wait, did I just run around in a circle? Oh, what? You can actually get a soda from this? Okay. Yeah, these old older games trying to figure out where you're supposed to go exactly. Forget where I went last time for this part here. Uh Oh, here we go. That's it. That was a switch on the It kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Okay, so I guess we will, um... Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and... I guess what we'll do is we'll leave, we, we will leave it off here, guys. Um, I'll have the next part for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do enjoy the series, do drop a like. Helps me make more parts like this. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.